Good afternoon, I'm Mike Sela. Plenty of Georgians have a stake in the next set of agricultural rules Congress puts into place. The federal farm bill sets the table for how farmers can survive and compete for the next five years. Bureau Chief Dow Kennedy spoke with one Georgia official who's been to Washington trying to give his input. Georgia's Agriculture Commissioner says a lot of the state's agribusiness economy rides on what goes into the next federal farm bill. Commissioner Tyler Harper spent part of last week in Washington, D.C., talking to lawmakers about the next farm bill and its importance. It's about ensuring that that playing field for our American producers is, is level that we have the ability to compete with other nations around the world. He says Georgia farmers and others around the nation often face an uphill battle with those in other countries in labor and other costs. We pay what we pay for an hour for labor, they pay in a day in some cases. He met with Democrats and Republicans because he says the farm bill often centers more on geography than political party. He's encouraged that we could see provisions for the first time to better protect crops like blueberries and onions. He hopes the next bill gives better safety nets for row crops like cotton, peanuts, and more to help protect growers' investments and the people who rely on their success. At the end of the day, agriculture is national security, and we've got to protect our food supply, and we've got to protect our farmers and producers and ranchers and give them the tools and resources they need to be successful. The current farm bill expires at the end of September, and he hopes Congress can have a new one ready by then. And of course, we'll keep following it and keep you posted. In Bullitt County, Dow Kennedy, WTOC News. Harper served as a state senator in the General Assembly before being elected Ag Commissioner in November.